Which you lots. Let's graph this, find the zeros, and graph this quadratic equation. There's more than one way to skin a cat, and it's important that you know all of the ways. First of all, you can't factor this. There's no way to factor that. It just won't work. So the ways that I can do this are I can use the quadratic formula. That'd be kind of a waste of time, but it'd be negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And it would be negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 38. Did I do that right? 30, 36? 36? Ooh, that's nice. That's a nice number. All over negative 2? Wait a minute. That does factor. That does factor. So negative 2 plus or minus 6 all over negative 2. That tells me that it factors. So originally this could have factored. The reason it looked like it didn't at first is because there's a negative in front. But it is negative x and positive x. And this would be a... Negative, this would be uh, negative, negative x po plus two positive be. 2 and a positive 4. Uh, <laughs> and that factors, which means negative x equals negative 4, which means x equals 4, or x equals negative 2. There are your two zeros. All right, so notice how the quadratic formula worked. There's one other thing that works if you can't figure it out, and that is completing the square, which watch, watch my other videos if you want to see how to do that. But completing the square wouldn't be too terribly difficult with this either, but I'm not going to bother doing that. Now let's show the graph. It's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2. There are my two zeros. It opens down because it's a negative leading coefficient. And the x, the y-intercept is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Which, by the way, that isn't the maximum. Your maximum is going to be somewhere in the middle of negative 2 and positive 4, which would be at positive 1. Your maximum would be up here somewhere. So your graph, this is a rough sketch. They don't want us to find the vertex. But maybe they did want us to find the vertex. So how do I find the vertex? Let's do this in red. No, let's do this in, yeah, let's do this in red. How do I find the vertex? Negative b over 2a, that's the x-coordinate of your vertex. Or if you have your zeros for a quadratic, the vertex is always right in the middle. So the total distance here was 6. That's why I knew that it had to be at 1. But you can double-check that. Negative b is negative 2 over 2a is negative 2, which equals positive 1. Plug that back in to find the y-coordinate. You've got 10 minus 1, which is 9. So your vertex is at 1, 9. That's your vertex up there. I apologize for all the messiness. But there's your graph. Your zeros and your vertex, and that's how you do it.